Let's talk about the Smittybilt Overlander tent. First impressions, the good and the bad. We got 13,000, close to 14,000 miles on the clock already. We're putting some decent miles on the Overlander Ram here and I'm enjoying every single one of them. It is a little chilly today. I got 55 degrees, so I'm wearing a hoodie for the first time, I think, ever in Florida. How ridiculous is that? I know people in uh, up in Boston, they got two feet of snow. Interesting to see 55 degrees in South Florida. Still humid, so it gets, uh, feels a little cooler than that. But anyway, enough about the weather. What we're gonna do in today's video is I'm gonna show you my Smitty Belt to Smitty built tent that's right there on on the bed I've used it now for a couple of times and I want to talk to you about uh, basically what I think about it there are a couple of things that are really uh, there are a lot of things actually that are fantastic about the tent and then there are a couple of things that are a little a uh, bit uh, a few things that they could let's say that they could improve in their next generation of the Smitty built tent I'm gonna find trails that's gonna be the objective for this uh, year is to hopefully find a lot of cool trails get off grid and I want to kind of get into this mindset of just going somewhere and not planning it too much but just going somewhere exploring someplace set up the tent even though it's negative whatever degrees I still want to do it in the middle of the winter next year or this year when we're up in Colorado hopefully share the journey with you just you know experiment with my type of uh, video editing and all of that stuff and try to come up with something that I enjoy doing and enjoy sharing with you guys as well and if that's something that you're interested in following along with or on just make sure you subscribe to this channel because this is the channel where all where all of that is going to be posted not on my other two channels that are car design related this has nothing to do really with car design so if that's something you're interested in then if you want to come along on the journey subscribe to the channel I'm gonna upload as much as I can this year and try to grow this channel into into something really cool it warmed up quite a bit here in the park it's probably around 70 75 degrees or something like that right now I'm gonna unfold the entire tent right here and also I want to show you these that I put on yesterday these mounts rubber mounts that holds these two in very very sturdy like this you have an axe and a shovel hopefully no one is gonna steal them but I think I'm gonna take them off when I'm not using them uh, I think that's the smartest thing to do even though I kind of want them on there because it just looks so cool what we're gonna do now is just first of all you see these two straps here these two will go first so you gotta take these off and then you have this super rugged plastic rubbery cover for the tent that comes off and after that a couple of few straps and then we just unfold the whole tent using the ladder as uh, leverage up there if you want any of these any of the mods that i have on the truck they're all linked down below in the description if you want to go and get them for yourself That was the first step complete, very easy. So how it's attached to the cover there is really cool because you have these Velcro strips right here. It goes all around here. So this is how it connects to that uh, top cover. And when you want to use the tent, you just fold this whole thing down like this. So it creates almost like a nice base for the tent. So what we're gonna do now is we have a few straps. You have this one, this one, and this one right here and another one over there so we're just gonna untie these and then fold up the tent so this is where the kind of problem comes in because you see right here when you want to unfold this and you have this vel vel velcro right here it gets it gets a little tricky because the velcro wants to <laughs> stick together when you want to try to unfold unfold this so you want to or, or untangle this and so you want to have two hands when you're doing this otherwise it gets a little tricky so 
that's one of the things that are a little tricky when you're doing this for the couple of first times but it's definitely something that you will get used to after a while there we go just like that and let's see if i can do this one-handed let's see this as a test if i can do this well this one was easy this was these are one of the some of the easier ones right here this is pretty tricky with one hand that's for sure but i think i can do it I've done it a couple of times now so it gets easier every time you see this is what i'm talking about it gets a little sticky there it's just a detail but still something that i think could be done a little better for the next generation of overlanding tent well, there we go i think that was all and then we have one more just to keep the uh ladder in place up here very easy to just pull this out what we're gonna do now is just pull the ladder out and then we have our tent folding up so i'm gonna show you that right now there we go pretty cool now another thing that uh, i think they could do a little better until next overlander tent is this ladder it feels a little unsturdy and sometimes you get dirt within these rails and you have to kind of lock these in so they go down and then they click somewhere around there so when you when they're clean it glides very easily in here but you will get dirt in here and you will get a little uh, trickier to to kind of slide them in and out but other than that it's a fantastic ladder this is what it looks like right now so i want to fold down this to have this nice base that covers the metal all around here very easy to do and you can see there's a lot of bugs out here today so what we're gonna do is i'm probably gonna have the mosquito nets up on the inside here so we don't have any mosquitoes or bugs sneaking in here but next steps very easy pop those up and you can remove the rain cover you can see that we remove it by three clips one two and three well looks pretty good right now what i'm gonna do next is i want to keep this side closed and i want to have this window open i do that from the inside and this is going to be the main opening here and i don't know if you can see all the bugs on the video but there's a lot of them so what i'm going to do is just open this up and have the and then going to have the mosquito net apply or closed but i still want to have a lot of air in so i'm going to open that and that side and maybe i don't know this side maybe too but the problem with this that i have is that i can't put the pole right there i can open it up with one pole but if i put that pole it's gonna hit the top of the the cab right here and i don't want to scratch that so I usually just keep that closed but let's just continue here and let's see how many windows we want to keep open quickly want to show you this too because it's pretty convenient these details is just what makes this tent such a great tent specifically for the price point which we're going to talk about in just a second so you can see here you just roll this up and then it comes with these little hooks right here super easy super quick to do very easy to do one-handed as well if you want to do that if you have like me if you're a vlogger with a camera in your hand all the time then it's super easy to do that I'm gonna do the same with this netting right now and then open up a couple of windows on the inside there as well. By the way, pretty decent spot right here. You don't know what this is for? I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Very cool detail as well. A couple of things I wanna show you inside the tent that you might not know what it is if you get this tent yourself, is if we climb up here, you can see that I have these things attached from one side over there. Don't really use this when you're in the tent because it's gonna obviously be right in the way there are four of these one here up there and then one down there as well when you fold it back in is that it keeps the sides of the tent pulls the sides of the tent in so so that it doesn't bulge out too much on the sides which is really useful which you're gonna experience if you have this tent yourself that you don't have to tuck so much in around the tent if you apply if you attach these to do the job for you to basically pull the sides of the tent in as it folds down super clever and a really good idea and one of these details as well that is really cool for this tent that you don't you wouldn't really think of if you were designing a tent like this
Well, hello there. So I'm gonna show you what the pouch is for right now. The pouch that's in the on the outside here that I mounted. I think if you watched my previous video, you know what it's for. It's for the shoes, obviously. So what you do, you have dirty shoes from the mud over there. What you want to do, if they're super dirty and you don't want the dirt inside, just put them right in there. That's where they go. There is a lot of space in here. This is not a uh, very cramped tent. You have a lot of space in here and good ventilation as, as well. You have these vents up here, another one on that side. And then I'm gonna, of course, open this up now. So we have some, uh, some airflow in here. And then you have some pockets all around right here, down here, and these two as well. Oh yeah, and now we're getting the airflow in here. Feels really nice. It actually gets pretty hot in here. So I don't think it's gonna be a problem sleeping in here when it's really cold out because it, se it, it seems like it's uh, keeping the heat pretty well. It's a Smitty built Overlander tent. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, I'm shooting a video demonstrating it right now. No, it's been around for a decade, I think. Okay. Yeah. You just find them online then? Yeah, you can find it on Amazon. Okay, thank you. Oh, one more thing. When you get out of this tent, it's kind of tricky at some point. You have to turn around and then find your first step. So it can be pretty <laughs> interesting if it's a steep rake on the ladder. But what you can do, that's what these are for right here. So you have these red bands on each side. If it's uh, really hard to find your first step, you can always hold, hold on to these things. That will give you some uh, something to hold on to as you climb down. All right, so now that I show you how to, uh, to set up this tent, what we're gonna do now is just do the complete opposite on the other way around. So we're gonna fold it back down. So what I have to start with is putting these back up, cover that up and also roll that up and then put this back right here to hold the tent in when I fold it back. And that's about it guys. All that's left to do now is just put these holders, metal holders or whatever you want to call these things. I don't know what they're called, but <laughs> the thing that holds up the windows and stuff. Put them back in their little pouch. You got eight of them for all the windows. I usually only use six since I said, as I said, the one one uh, window is gonna hit my cab and I don't want to do that. So I usually just use six of them. What I did forget to do now, what I usually do with the, with this little pack right here is I put it under the mattress inside. Forgot to do that right now. So I'm gonna keep it in, uh, in the back seat, I guess. So many bugs out here. It's crazy. And it definitely heated up since I got here. I'm sweaty now. Feels good. So end uh, result is this is what it looks like when it's all folded up. This is a little bit annoying. I always forget to fold these back down, but this is just a detail. If you're a perfectionist of uh, loading up stuff, then this is gonna annoy you just as it annoys me right now. So the price point, how much do you pay for a Smittable tent? This one I, I paid, I think I paid about uh, $900. I can't remember. It seems like the prices go up and down on these tents. It's been around for a while now, so maybe it's gonna get cheaper or, or more expensive now in this uh, current market. I'm not sure. 
but you can get this tent actually on Amazon and it shipped to me in I think it was two or three days so very quick shipping for what it is and I also have the full install assembly video here on YouTube if you want to check that out how you've actually put it on the rack and assemble the whole thing as it comes from from Amazon overall for what you get I think it's a really 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 good deal yes it's not a hard shell that you can just pop up and boom you have almost like a living room in there this you have to do a little bit of work to get it up and down but it's not really that big of a deal if you get the hang of it it's gonna take you 10 minutes or less to pop it up and down so it's not really that big of a deal it is might be a little trickier when it's snowy conditions if you want to climb you're gonna have to climb up and down I think it's all a matter of just practice until you get a really good hang of it and the more often you do it the faster you're gonna get at uh, popping it up and down so yeah I think it's a really good starter to I'm gonna keep it for a very long time I'm super happy with it so far and I haven't really started using it properly yet so this is more of a first impression review I guess you would call it of what I think of it so far